that's going to be always helpful for all the replays. Um, Andy, can we do a quick two minute recap, if you don't mind, for yesterday? Because I see a lot of new faces today. So there's there's a there's a few new faces now. It's super important, everyone. Uh, how's my audio coming in? Give me a thumbs up if my audio's coming in super clear. G give me a thumbs up. Okay, amazing. So yesterday is super important because it lays the foundation of the overall framework of of, of it all. So some of the things that I'm going to be sharing today is going to be focusing on the uh, traffic, the registrations, how to get fill up your webinar. But yesterday lays the foundation of the overall system. That's number one. Number two the landing page build out and the automations on the back end. So if you don't have automation, I mean, let's imagine not having a tool like high level today and you don't have any automations and you're trying to do it manually. I've done that and it's a lot easier with the tools. So yesterday lays the foundation of the overview of what happens when traffic hits your site. And today's all about that traffic. And if you, for those of you who stayed yesterday, you got a bonus, which was a snapshot that we built out. My team built out a snapshot. Now we sell this system to our agency clients for 35 grand a year. And Paulson said, hey, what is the most valuable thing that we can deliver as part of this snapshot? And I, I mean, as part of this, this bundle for people who upgrade. And I said, the most valuable thing right now, man, is if I just give them the blueprint and plug it into their high level account. And so it took a lot of arm twisting from Paulson, but Paulson made sure to say, hey, I'm going to give the most value to this audience who's shows up because that's one of the things I my, my mentor shared with me the opportunity is in the show up. so congratulations for you who showed up if you didn't show up yesterday no worries there's a replay in the, on the features tab inside of the high level group chat or Facebook community and it's on YouTube oh, yeah also the YouTube channel yep yep absolutely um so so how many of you were here yesterday and how many of you this is your first day if it's your first day give me a one in the chat if this is your second day, give me a two in the chat. Let's get a good temperature for the room. Okay. Okay. A lot of twos. So okay. it's only a few people that are, it's your first day. Okay. A lot of twos. So we appreciate you coming back and engaging with this. What was your biggest takeaway? Let's get a good temperature for the room. Just, just jot down with one or two, three words. What was your biggest takeaway yesterday? Like what was the big aha moment that's going to take you far? What are some what are some engaged uh, what are some things that we could um, Ralph said pick a day yep my big number John Cunningham say set a day so one of the challenges that we kind of naturally did was like hey who wants to just do exactly what we're teaching without delaying it so a lot of people picked a day where they're gonna do a webinar for their community and things like that uh, this is good this is great engagement we appreciate it um, so Andy. Let's do a recap of yesterday and we'll get started with today's content. All and right. You, so uh, yeah. What I'll what I'll do is I'll go through the the presentation real quick from yesterday. Now, this is going to be the quick version of it. And then I'll slow down to focus on the portion of the training, which is the bulk of today's training, which is the um the traffic. Okay. So in yesterday's presentation, everyone, let me share my screen here. <clears throat> in yesterday's presentation. I shared that there's two ways for you to actually let me stop sharing so I can open up the uh, the uh, so I can sh reshare again correctly. But yesterday I shared that there's two ways for you to sell SaaS, and which is what I found to be true. You can sell one on one or one on many. And yesterday I asked a question to the group. I said, "Hey, which option, based on law of averages?" Who has the highest probability of getting the most SaaS sales? And of course, everyone said, majority said option B. And that's because I broke down the numbers. If you're a full-time agency sales representative, whether you're the owner or the operator and you're the one selling yourself, if you work full-time and you, and you let's say in a, in, in a week or in a day, you get four demos per day. That's a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen, to be on four Zoom calls per day with an hour and a half each Zoom call, giving a demo, trying to close, and so on and so forth, and you work 20 days, that's 80 demos at most in a month. That's option A. So the result of working full-time, you're busting tail, you're getting people on Zoom calls, you're following up, trying to get someone on a Zoom call, you're presenting, you're closing, you're following up again after you present the nickel. That's a full-time job, ladies and gentlemen. 80 demos a day, 80, 80 demos in a month. Or the other option is you can have one working day, 100 webinar attendees at your event, 
and that's equivalent to 100 demos. Which strategy would you like to sell your SaaS? Option A, where you're busting tail every single day and you're at the end of the result is 80 demos in a month. Or option B, you get 100 demos in a day. If, if you're on the YouTube channel replay, I want you to write down your answer in the chat box or in the comment section. If you're on Facebook, I want you to write your answer in the comment section. And if you're live here, I want you to write your answer in the chat box here. Option A or option B? And I'm looking at the chat box. Yes, of course, option B, which is one on many. So the framework is simple that you're going to follow. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to schedule a group event, which is called a webinar, and you're going to host this event once per month. Now, I go a little bit into deeper detail on yesterday's training. So if you don't have, if you ha weren't here yesterday, be sure to go to the YouTube, uh, uh, Go High Level's YouTube account and watch that, that video. But you're going to schedule a webinar once per month for the next 12 months. You're going to get as many of your potential SaaS customers to register each month. And then you're going to do an event called a webinar, which is a live group demonstration of your SaaS and you sell it. And then you re repeat every single month, one webinar, get as many people to the webinar to see it. It's live, not evergreen. It's live. And then you're going to repeat every single month for the next 12 months. Yesterday, I also shared down the, uh, the overview of the landing page. Uh, me and Paul came up with this moniker, less information, more registrations. Okay, less information on your, on your landing page, more registration. There's three elements that you wanna see on your landing page in addition to the form to opt in. Number one is gonna be your title. So choose a simple title that presents the end result of coming to your event. So in this scenario here, I'm sharing with my audience, build, building a multiple uh, multi six figure business through social media marketing. On the title section, you're gonna have the who's hosting it and the date. And then the second element is what you will learn. Remember this, if you're a marketer just like myself and you're a copywriter and you love to give out information, in this scenario, less information, more registrations. So here you're gonna share what your three to five things that your attendee is gonna learn by coming to your event. Keep it simple. And I want you to notice here, there is nothing here about my SaaS. There's no screenshots of my SaaS. It's on the most simplest way. Like, hey, fill up your calendars on autopilot get paid six figures, schedule 70 plus high ticket sales appointments, get people to know you, uh, how to get leads on social media. There's nothing that I'm sharing about my SaaS. The third element is the who's the host. So on this section, you're going to share a little bit of your accolades. And one of the questions that was pretty prominent yesterday was, hey, what if I don't have accolades? What if I don't have testimonials? I, I'm, I'm just getting started in the SaaS world. What do I do? I shared a perspective. When you're sharing information on webinars, you're teaching people essentially how they should think by utilizing your process, your system, your tools. And one of the things that I did in the beginning is I knew that I was going places, right? Put your hand to the webcam or put actually put a one in the chat box if you know you're creating success in your life, like you're committed to creating success in your life. If you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook, put a one in the comment section so I can watch out, I can watch the replay and see who's committed to success. So put a one, if you're live here today, put a one in the chat box if you're committed to success. So one of the things that I found out that I wanted to let people know is I'm going places. So I, I, I created a visual and the visual was in the beginning, before I had any testimonials, before I had any um, like examples and so on and so forth of people creating success with my SaaS, I let everyone know, or I ask everyone a question. I said, option A, I, I put up like an Amazon stock, right? On my screen. And I said, hey, out of this Amazon stock, point A was like in the early 1900s, like 1990s when Amazon started and point B is now. And, and everyone saw the spike of Amazon go up. And I put this stock image and I said, which would you rather invest in? Option A or option B at the top? And everyone was like, oh, I'd rather invest option A because I'm going to be a part of it as it grows. I said, yes, you're looking at the Amazon, baby. You're Andy Audate. You're talking to Andy Audate at the beginning. So, I mean, I invite you to, you can take that same framework, same word track, implement in your presentation and give people the opportunity to invest early into your SaaS as you're growing and let them know like, hey, as the cost of my software goes up, 
Don't worry, we're going to grandfather you in. As technology gets in input into the software, don't worry, we'll take care of you because you're an early investor. You're an early adopter, right? So now the next thing, so you don't have to, in, in my scenario, I, I share that I've serviced over 5,500 clients. That's, it's taking me 10 years. Okay? It's, not, it's not overnight. But in my company, I help business owners and sales professionals grow and scale their business. I let them know what I do. Okay. Um, yesterday, I also shared the, my stats. So this is a screenshot of, of uh, last week's stats. As I was doing this PowerPoint presentation, I had just completed a webinar, ironically. So I took a screenshot of my automation section. And on September's webinar, from my and your dates webinar, I had 821 people register, 133 attend the webinar. So not everyone is going to attend, and that's quite normal, ladies and gentlemen. Not everyone's going to attend. And then I closed $81,000 in annual recurring revenue on that 190-minute presentation. That doesn't include my follow-up sequence. That doesn't include anyone following up and, and so forth. Tomorrow, I'm going to be sharing with you the follow-up process and what happens after the webinar. Today is about what happens uh, to drive traffic. Yesterday, I also shared the three stages of the reminder campaign. The first stage is the opt-in, the registration page. Less information, more registrations. And what happens after if you, if you, uh, this is, I went in deep detail yesterday, so be sure to watch yesterday's presentation. Also, I broke down the reminder campaign. It starts five days before, all the way down to 10 minutes before the event, reminding them to join us with valuable content, excite, getting them excited to join your webinar. Then I broke down the event, what happens at the event. And what happens at the event? is you do a demonstration of up to two features of your SaaS. So for me, I may do just the uh, unified inbox, the conversations tab, as well as automations. That's it. That's it. And I sell my SaaS for 750 bucks. And it's worth it to those folks who have a team who's like, hey, look, I want everything in one inbox. And you're telling me I can automate the, the communication? That's a deal. Yeah, and then today, today, today's yeah, day yeah, I want to add something here. like. It may sound crazy that Andy is saying, hey, only open up two features to your prospects or whatever audience you have. Like right now, uh, one of the things that I do with uh, high levelers in general is we have something called the five day challenge. Give me one in the chat if you've heard of the five day challenge or if you've already taken the five day challenge. I wonder if there's any five day challenge students in here. Okay, a ton of you. The main thing in there I teach is the Trojan host strategy, leading with one feature. Right, one feature is the only fee like we talk about missed call text back or maybe reviews or whatever. But in reality, with SaaS, the number one mistake I've seen SaaSpreneurs make is leading with many features. That confuses the audience. That confuses your sales cycle. That confuses the prospect on having to make a decision on multiple offers. Only go with one specific offer. And then in a workshop scenario like this where you're doing a webinar, the same thing applies. If you open up the 500 feature high level, high level has, like you're not going to sell anything properly because they're going to be like, well, I need reviews. I need automations. I need SMS. I need funnels. I need this and that. Like at the end of the day, you're going to turn into an IT person in their eyes, yeah. right? And that's not the same thing as you providing a single solution and then migrating them into what actually matters. You'll do the expansion offers and things like that that we teach in the Sassapreneur program and the five-day challenge as an onboarding process. It's not for the initial sales uh, and prospecting. Just wanted to add that on because it's, it's really the biggest like mistake most entrepreneurs make. They offer more than one feature. Yes, yes. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. I've seen the sales when I when I share what I thought because I'm a, I'm a marketer like many of you, and I see the features of the tool, and I would share and I would say, oh my gosh, our tool could do this, that, this, that. It could do this automation, and you could also do your online course inside of here, and you could build a membership site, and you got your client portal, and then everyone's like, that is so awesome. That's good for someone who needs that, because I don't need any of that, because I'm overwhelmed. But I'm like, no, you, you do need it. You do need it. You need all of this. But when I do a webinar and I just prove a point, which is, hey, have your Instagram connected, have your Facebook connected, have your Google My Business connected, have your phone number connected and your email connected in one place, 
it's like, you know what? That makes sense. That's going to save me a lot of time. I do need that. Rather than me logging into all these different platforms to try to respond, I do need that. And then I'll say, now you have it all in one place. Why don't you just automate an appointment? Yeah. And this is a two-step <laughs> automation and automatic appointments. And people are like, wow, this is the most amazing technology. And then when they get on the onboarding, I say there's these other features. We'll get to that later on in the year. Okay. Let's focus on what we what you purchased it for, which is conversations and automations, baby. Let's focus on those two. And then people love it and it retains them. Those yeah. two things, acquisition and retention, those two things when you keep it simple. Yeah, and in, in these programs, we talk in detail about it, the five-day challenge, as well as the Entrepreneur Local Hero. If you want access to it, we'll we'll have a special offer for you at the end of this whole entire webinar uh, session. Um, Andy, let's talk about day two. I know we're at 12.15 already. I, I wanted to have an extended Q&A towards the end of this call today as well, just to get the interaction going. Uh, let's get right into day two. Okay, so day two is completely all about getting the webinar registrations. So if when you have your landing page set up, I gave you a snapshot. Now, my company, my marketing agency, it took us three and a half years for, for us to build it correctly, the way that we got it to optimize and to work and to create results. Uh, and then we sold it to our clients in my marketing agency for 35 grand a year. It was a contract to sign up with us. And we built it out for them. And I'm seeing our clients get results over the last couple of years using this, this system. And then uh, for those of you who upgrade to the SaaS plan, and if you're anything like me, I started off on the on, uh, 297 and I was like, okay, let me kind of try this. Go all in. That's the difference between the movers and the shakers and the wannabe makers. Go all in. So number one, so when you upgrade, this is not a sales presentation, but when you do upgrade, you're going to get that snapshot that my team built out for you, okay? And in today's presentation, now that you have that snapshot and you just plug it into your Go High Level account, now all you got to do is drive traffic. So day two is, if you don't have a notepad, be sure to grab one. Turn your webinars into a group conversation where you don't just sell your SaaS, but you ignite the spark of possibility, where you're lighting the path to success for your audience one attendee at a time because the people that come up to your webinars will be customers for life. So here's three strategies to build, to, to fill up your webinars. Now, Paulson, the, today's the focus, today's focus is going to be literally on just this slide, this slide here. And because those of you who came yesterday or who are going to watch the replay, I gave you a challenge to schedule your first presentation. So if you're if you put a two in the chat box earlier and you haven't scheduled your presentation, my invitation to everyone is just to choose a date. So if you are new today, just choose a date for what the future looks like. Give yourself a little bit of time, four weeks. Uh, the snapshot, when you get the snapshot from the high level team, when you upgrade, um, I, I recorded a video that breaks down exactly how to build out your funnel. It took me 30 minutes to build out my entire webinar the emails, the landing page, and so forth. Less than 20 minutes because I was more so explaining it. When you get that video as part of your upgrade, it's going to take you 30 minutes to maybe 45 if you're kind of on the new techie side, maybe 45, but I break it down step by step. You want to implement your date. You want to choose a date and put it on your landing page, which I gave to you as part of the bundle when you upgrade. So yeah. um, Paul, so I'm going to lean on you to, to really extract questions and yeah, and, absolutely. and engagement for this slide, okay? Absolutely. Before you go into the strategies real quick, Andy, let me provide context to a lot of you if today is your first day. Let me provide context to what the actual webinars are that we're talking about. Like, these are webinars that you're creating for your own SaaS launch in order to cater to your prospects in a local community. Maybe you're working with online businesses, whatever. Whatever industry that you're going after, if you're not niche down, that's okay. I would say at least go down to just focusing on local businesses, okay? So these are webinars that you are training and coaching and putting together some sort of a framework in a group setting, right? So let me, let me tell you this. All you need to do is learn one or two features inside high level, right? The biggest difficulty I have with high level is as much as I love it, 
there's a lot of features. This thing is overwhelming. I feel for you as agency owners and SaaSpreneurs. It's a very big platform. Does not mean all these features are going to apply to your prospects. They just need four or five total things to really give them success in their business. So in your webinar content, all you need to do is teach those few items. Pick maybe two or three pillars that you're going to talk about. Here's a calendar thing. Here's a unified inbox like Andy teaches, right? Here's maybe a landing page. And that's all you're going to teach. How many of you feel comfortable teaching one feature inside High Level on Amazon? to a stranger that has never seen automations or software before. How many of you feel comfortable, right? We're not asking you to onboard a massive franchise and enable 400 features. Some of you may feel like, man, that's what I'm signing up for when I'm scheduling an, mm -hmm. you know, a webinar. That's not reality. You want to simplify this down. I just wanted to provide that context as Andy goes into building that traffic. Who is that traffic for? This is what you're actually going to do. You're going to build that traffic for the audience that you teach, maybe two or three features. Go ahead, Andy. You can go ahead and start sharing again. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. So uh, let's do let's do a look because this is workshop style. If you have a notepad, just two write down the two features that you're going to promote and share on your webinar. Just I so I personally, Andy, I don't know what you teach on yours, but in our in our world, we have something called quick wins, right? And when when a brand new marketer comes in. We have the Quick Wins program. It's literally three or four things, unified inbox, landing pages. Um, I think we have GMBs set up and maybe calendars. Like outside of that, we don't go into onboarding anything else. What are what are your core like features that you teach in your webinars, Andy? As soon as someone comes into our world, our system, the first thing is going to be the conversations tab. What I what I notice is the people who stick is the people who are using the conversations tab and they downloaded the app to communicate to their already existing conversations. So the first thing that we that I'm going to be sharing is that this conversations tab can connect to your Instagram, your Facebook, your phone number, your email, and so forth, one place. And I'll ask the I'll ask the the, the group. How much time do you spend flipping through apps on Facebook, on Instagram? Then you got to remember to go back to Instagram to have that conversation again and follow with that person. And this person's on Facebook and then this person's on email. And then next thing you know, you're in a web of different apps. Just have one. Yeah. And the whole audience on my web and I was like, that makes sense. Yeah. Save Andy saving me time. The number two thing for me is I'll just share the automations and it's, it's, it's so some of our automation is so simple it's like the missed call text back yeah I have, I have i have a client she runs a six figure a month business and all she wants is missed call text back it's worth it to her to pay nine thousand dollars for our software a year just to have missed call text back because in her head she equates missed calls with payroll with paying people to call them back and and, and get a response the software does that automatically and naturally so if you were to do a webinar you could you could just choose the conversations tab and miss call text back and that's done yeah it's okay. funny that you said that because my five-day challenge that i do for high levelers the main lead magnet main core primary trojan horse offer is the miss call text back that's yes. what we lead with and i know there's data behind it um what's the third thing that you or is that just two that's it that's two things ladies and gentlemen wow. you okay. can build a seven-figure business on these two things <laughs> I, I, I i did an interview with sean clark um, you can grab that interview at my website, andyaudio.com. Oh, I did a uh, I did a podcast with Paulson. So as a, as a note, just remember to watch that podcast uh, spotlight session with Andy. Uh, you could search it, and you'll get the you'll get the the yeah. interview yeah. with that I did with Sean. And I said, Sean, let me ask you a question, man. Let's talk, business owner, business owner, man. Let's talk. If you were to build a ten million dollar SaaS as a go high leveler. Meaning that you're not working for a go high level. On the opposite side. You're on the opposite <laughs> side. You are a customer. You're a subscriber. How would you build a $10 million SaaS? Yeah. And he gave me the step-by-step -step play playbook to the point where I took that information. And I went back to my team and I said, hey, guys, what we're doing here is we're building a $10 million SaaS. Our marketing agency, we're dropping that. We're focusing on the SaaS. Okay? Everyone on, on, on game, my whole team was like, yes, $10 million SaaS. So I'll be 
creating YouTube content about it and you could follow the journey. However, what I'm sharing with you, as I looked at it, it was more simpler than I, than I, than I thought. Sometimes we make things a little bit more complex. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I took that playbook. I started implementing it in my business. And if you look at my Stripe account, this is what you see, right? And over the last, let's say six months, you see this. As soon as I had that podcast interview with Sean, my Stripe account like this. Yeah. There's no dips. There's no dips in my Stripe account since I had that podcast. It's just been going up and up and up and up. We changed our price points. We focused on SaaS and we kept it simple. Our customers are like, this is so easy to use. How many of your customers are like, this is complex? Yeah. You know what's crazy to me, Andy, is you did that after having a successful book of business with the agency side. You were doing six figures already. Yeah. And you, it was hard for you to sunset that and then adopt SaaS. I think... I think that's that speaks to your character in like understanding agility, understanding the power behind the business model and adopting it. So kudos to you on it. Let's Andy, if you don't mind, let's talk about the traffic. Let's get into the webinar traffic that we were getting ready to share. So the number one is going to be direct. Now, I I can you many of you can already see the the other the other points today is just going to be about three points. The real value today is when I give you different examples and different processes and different strategies. So you can take a picture of this and say, hey, I'm just going to take the picture and, and, and move on. Or you can stay tuned because as I break down the strategy behind it and the processes behind it, mind you, none of this is ads. You know, I'm not talking about running ads here. I remember uh, there were some folks who were saying, hey, Andy's, Andy's going to teach you how to get $50 to show up to, to your webinar. I don't, I don't run much ads to my webinars. I have strategic relationships and advantages that most people are underutilizing that when I utilize them, which I'm going to give to you today, will give you an advantage compared to other people who are, who are trying to figure out the ad game and, the, and they're, they're banking on Facebook or they're banking on their traffic source. What I'm sharing with you is that there's other playbooks. Now, where did I get this information from? Before my digital marketing agency, before me even learning what a landing page was, I had to fill up seminar rooms. A seminar and a webinar is the same thing. A seminar is just in person. Webinar is online, which is a group presentation. And I had to fill up seminar rooms. I used to work for people like Les Brown. I used to, the first um, uh, 10X event, I was the one filling up the events. Les Brown, the motivational speaker, I would get dropped into a city, let's say Dallas, Houston. I'd done it in Miami, New York, in different markets. I get dropped into a city four or five weeks ahead of time. And my job was when that presenter comes in, whoever the celebrity is, that they have a full room. They wouldn't know how many people were in the audience until they stepped on stage. Or they would ask me and say, hey, Andy, how many people we got coming? And I would let them know, either one. So that was before advertisements on, on Facebook and, and, and my experience with PPC ads and so forth. So I'm going to give you the groundwork hustle mentality framework on how to fill up your webinar. So that way you have a consistent flow of people and traffic coming to you, okay? Yeah, so this is 100% organic, right? Correct. And, and here's what I do know about paid ads. I have ran millions of dollars in paid ads. And what I know about paid ads is that whatever you have organic is what gets enhanced, or if it stings on organic and nobody likes it, it'll be, it'll be very bad in paid ads. Just because you throw a bunch of money at it doesn't mean it's gonna work. And most SaaS, 70 80 percent could be built on organic and affiliate marketing versus paid advertising paid advertising is really quite often used for retargeting and big branding like if you look at software companies that advertise it's really big branding naming conventions that they're really marketing versus like advertising with an offer like hey i'll get you 10 appointments right so direct traffic to the registration page that you talked about from other audiences help us understand what that means so yesterday I gave you, uh, and for those of you who are upgrading, you get the snapshot. You don't have to spend the next three years trying to build out and optimize. I've already done it for you, the majority of the legwork for you. It takes, it'll take you less than 30 minutes. If you follow my tutorial that you get as part of the snapshot, when you upgrade, you'll get that tutorial who will, in which I'll guide you on building it out. So once you have that built, that's step one. So if you, don't, if you have a notepad, be sure to write this down in, in, the, in the steps that I give you. Step one is to build out that campaign because it's going to make it a lot easier to remind people and to get people to be in front of you. 
And I'll share with you some examples. I've had other people who've already gone through this program and we set up their webinar snapshot and it cost them 35 grand to even get it in the first place. But they set up their webinar snapshot, which is so easy to set it up. And then the response that I got on the day after the webinar is, Andy, I literally just posted the webinar link on my social media. I told people to go to this webpage or to text this number and people just showed up. I All I had to do was put the Zoom link in the system like you taught me and people just showed up to the webinar. I didn't even have to email anyone, text email. So it's all done for you when you upgrade to the, to the plan and you get the snapshot. Now, what the idea of number one is in this three this three part strategy is I want to leverage someone else's audience. So whether you're local or you're going global, you want to leverage other people's audience. So the first one is going to be networking events. The beauty of using high level is that you can have people text you. Granted that you're A2P compliant, you can have tech people text you to opt in to get the link to your webinar registration page. So here's an example. If you're on the technical side, if you understand a little bit of tech, you're going to build a one-step automation. I'm going to say it slow. Just one step. Don't get complex. I know you. there's a lot of YouTube videos with a lot of trainings <laughs> and process. Don't get complex. Make it simple. When someone texts you a specific keyword, so the way that you do that is when inside of the software, trigger, you're going to click on that and when customer replied. So you're going to desk 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 action. Customer replied. You're just going to put a keyword in there. So it could just, just use the word webinar. It makes it so much easier. So when people text you the word webinar, the re response in this one-step automation is here's the link to register. That's it. That's it. So now for number one, networking events. Let's say that I am going to a chamber of commerce training or, or I'm, I'm, I'm going to a chamber of commerce and there's if this is your local city. I live in Las Vegas. I'll just type in on Google, Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce. Wherever you live, you just type in your city, Chamber of Commerce. And Paulson, by the way, I've gone to Paulson's trainings. I've gone to Sean's trainings. I've gone to the high-level community trainings. This is where these ideas for me started to stimulate a few years ago. I went to the mastermind. I flew down to Texas. Put a one in the chat box if you're going to level up summit, by the way. I'm going to be there. Paulson's going to be there. Just yeah, real quick. If you don't know what a level of summit is, it's the high level conference once a year where literally the top players inside the high level community get together. Usually there's about a 500 people. I think this time is about a thousand people and our internal team runs it just FYI. And what I love about it is it's not a pitch fest. We don't even allow any pitching at all from any speakers or stages or anything. You really get to learn and learn and learn and learn. And, you know, I, I forgot to talk about it. Andy. <laughs> like, I'm, I got I'm, you, brother. It's not even a it's not even a plug. Like, I really think if you are serious about SaaS, you need to show up to one of our events. OK, and the next one is a level up. So, and Andy is going to be on stage with me speaking on SaaS in general. Andy and four or five other top, top SaaSpreneur players this year that we handpicked just FYI. And we're going to talk about it. So networking events is a big deal. And Chamber of Commerce matter a lot because we do know if you can sell from stage, it creates multiple effects for you. And in the Saspreneur Local Hero Playbook, as well as the five-day challenge, we talk about strategies and we even have a demo slide that we built out for you for Chamber of Commerce events so you can actually sell from stage. Um, now, Andy, what are the other type of events that you look at when it comes to networking? Yeah, so I'm going to go on uh, like a website like eventbrite.com. Okay. E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E.com. -E I'm going to search in my city and I'm going to type in free events and I'm going to schedule going to every single free event. Every single, this is how, ladies and gentlemen, this is how I would pack a room with 400 people in That's four weeks. That's crazy. Right. That's, like, that's like guerrilla marketing, right? You get dropped into a city and they're like, hey, put billboards out anywhere and get as many things going, radio ads, get people it takes. holding the sign at the traffic lights. Like it, it's crazy. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's nuts. Whatever it takes. But look, ladies and gentlemen, it's completely free. It's completely free. And what's really cool, like for those people, I turn them into SaaS customers afterwards, right? 
So, so those people end up becoming SaaS customers in the first place. Now, However, what are what are the numbers you expect? Like when you do networking events like that, like how many can you expect, especially like in the beginning? I'll go to a networking event that has 12 people, 12 people. I'll to ask the host like, hey, hey, host, um, I have an event coming up in the next few weeks. Do you mind if I just kind of share? It's going to be for business owners and the majority of the people here are going to be business owners. Do you mind if I just take like like three, maybe four and a half minutes? I'll, I'll put the half in there to kind of make them smile. Like you could maybe four minutes or, or maybe like three to four minutes and 29 seconds. Give me four, three to four minutes and 29 seconds to speak and just share about this event that I have coming up for business owners. Most nine out of 10 times are like three to four minutes. It's valuable for my audience. Sure. Yeah. So if there's 12 people, I'm going to go up to in front of the 12. So you'll go up in front of your, the 12 people at your uh, chamber of commerce and so forth. And you'll just say, hey, I, I have a system or a process for who here would like to have more appointments. Majority will raise their hand. OK, I have a system that allows you to get more appointments on your calendar. And I'll be uh, Deborah. I'm just going to say Deborah. Deborah is allowing me to uh, three minutes here just to share about this event. But on the event itself, uh, which is going to be October 11th or October 12th or whenever you're, you you chose, Deborah allowed me three minutes to share with you this event. If you're interested to get more appointments, uh, you feel free to shoot me a text. Text me a specific keyword. Text me the word webinar to my cell phone. So everyone, pull out your cell phones. Not not you guys, but I would. That's a, that would be a mock presentation. So I'll say, everyone, pull out your cell phones and text me the word webinar to my phone number, and I'll give you the link to 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 go ahead and uh, come to the webinar. All right. Thank you, Deborah, for having me. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you at the event. Done. Wow. Your job is done. Pretty simple. Let me let me do a quick pop quiz to see how many people are actually listening to all these all these great ideas that you're sharing. What is the ramp up period that we're talking about? How many days do you have in a month to promote your event? Andre, 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 yeah. Andre, Andre already got it right. You got three, four weeks. We're talking about once in a month event. Once in a month event, and this is a live event that you're going to do. I think that's more authentic. It presents you, and I think it's good if you make mistakes. I think it's good if it looks crappy. I think it's good if you don't have your voice and they recognize it. Because you know why? It humanizes the experience. It humanizes and shows that you're a real person, right? I think those convert a whole lot better then you wearing a suit and a tie and you speak very great, like, like enunciate very clearly. And it looks like an infomercial. Like, I don't want to feel like it's an infomercial. I want to feel like, man, I'm connecting with a group of entrepreneurs. And this Andy guy is going to teach us something about automations or entrepreneurship for all that matters. Cause he was kind of big with the funnel anyway. Like, I'm like, you know what, let me just network. That's how I'm feeling about as an attendee. Right. So, OK, a lot of you are listening. I love the answers here. 21 to 28 days, three weeks. I think two and a half weeks, three weeks is a great. Don't you think that's enough time for you to do some like groundwork to lead up to it? And Andy saying 10 to 12, 15 people from one effort, one event. And if you did that at 10, 15 different events every single month, don't you think you can you can do a lot more damage than just bring in 10 people? We're only on the first, we're on one A out of one, two, three, <laughs> out of four, five, six, six strategies. Let's get to the next one. I, I don't, I don't want to hold you up. Let's get to the next one. Okay. So, so the, that one is networking events. And by the way, if you are like, my, my, my wife was asking me like, yeah, she was asking me last night. She said, what would you do? What would you do different if you were working full time? Now for me, I, I, fortunately I've been an entrepreneur for the last, since I was 18 years old. So, but I said to her, this is what I would do. If I was working 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., let's just say you are a SaaS entrepreneur, you're trying to transition out, for example, and you're trying to go from your nine to five to, to SaaS. There's a, there's, a, there's a group, for example, called BNI, uh, Business Network International, I think it is, yeah. which is local businesses that all around the country that get together. And sometimes they have their meetings at six o'clock in the morning. I would wake up just a little bit earlier and before I go to my shift, I will go to that BNI. They, they host a little free get together for, you know, they serve you a little coffee, bagels or whatever. And then I would go to the host and I would say, hey, host, I'm coming in. I'm, I'm new. 
but I have this new cutting edge technology and I would like to share it with the with the business owners. Do you mind if I just share like three minutes, four minutes, 29 seconds? You get me? Four minutes, 29 seconds of time just to share about this event that I have coming up. You mind just give me a few moments? Most of the time they're going to be like, if it's valuable, sure. And they, then you go up and you say, hey, guys, everyone who here would like more, more leads, more appointments. And I have an automation system that literally siphons people from social media. I would love to show it to you and do a group demonstration. I'm hosting an event on uh, October, whatever date you chose. Just text me the word webinar to my phone number or go to this webpage, whatever your webpage is. So for example, I'll say for, in my event, I'll say go to uh, gosaslaunch.com slash webinar and people will go to that web page and opt in. My job is done because the yeah. automations in the back end do majority of the work for you. Okay. Yeah. And and I share a lot of the BNI Chamber of Commerce strategies in the Sasapreneur uh, course, as well as the five day challenge. If you want more details on how all those things are done, go to those courses. Those are all free to you as a high leveler. So Facebook and IG live, like now we're going digital a little bit. Help us understand parameters around this. Do the same thing once a day, 10 minutes a day. Okay. Nine to 10 minutes a day. Once and a day, every on single your day. Own, like on your own personal, or do you set up like a SaaS profile in the beginning? Like what, do you, what, like where are we going live? What are so we doing? What I did, what I, and I'm sharing with you, these are all things that I've personally done. So what I did was I went on my own page, but here's what I did. What I started doing was I started randomly like inviting people live, which will allow me to get in front of their audience as well. So every day, it's eight to nine minutes a day. Hey, everyone. Um, on the event that I have coming up, one of the things that I'm going to be sharing, everyone, is the uh, how you can link up in one software, how you can link up Facebook, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Instagram, text messages, where you can streamline your communication and build a successful business. So on this event that I have coming up, it's going to be 90 minutes long. And on that 90 minute ses session, I'm going to be sharing with you how to lead generate, how to follow up with your leads and really get customers almost on autopilot. So if that's interesting to you, I put the link in the chat, in the, in the description, go to this webpage to register for the event. It's completely free. That's a nine minute presentation. And if people come in, then you can answer questions and you might go a little bit longer just because you're, you're, you're feeling the vibe, but you're just going to do that every day as a, as a habit. Hop on live. If you search me on Facebook, you'll see all of my lives from like 2017, 2016 of these, exactly what I'm sharing with you here. Okay, so that's number two. So, so far, if you're still working on nine to five, I just gave you a game plan that, for example, three times a week, you can go to a, a chamber of commerce event or a BNI in the morning and then find eight to 10 minutes throughout the day to promote your event every single day. Okay, so that's number two or the, the set, one B for Facebook <laughs> and Instagram live. OK, you'll do it now on. Um, <clears throat> Because I think now they switched it. I believe you're so one on Facebook, one on Instagram, do it on both. So that's going to take you 16 minutes out of your day. Yeah. And then in reality, what you want to pay attention to is if you have a certain target audience, let's say you're focused on accountants or, you know, like a certain industry, consider the places that they hang out in, right? Like, if they're all very active on LinkedIn, maybe LinkedIn is something you don't avoid. Maybe if you're going after like a younger crowd, a uh, bunch of e-commerce people, like maybe TikTok is something you don't avoid, right? Uh, maybe if it's a bunch of dentists, like my first agency was in dentistry, like they're very active inside private Facebook groups, not even Facebook, but inside Facebook groups that are designated for dentists only. So you like, Consider where your audience is hanging out if you are going to niche down a little bit. But you don't need to niche down for SaaS. You heard that right. You don't need to niche down. You do need to focus on either a local market or something along the lines so you have a narrowed lane instead of just anything and everybody. Um, so uh, let's move faster uh, here, Andy, because I want to do a bit other, of &A. other stages and other okay. webinars. I'm going to put them on the same boat. Other stages okay. are going to be in person where there's a large group of people, there's a large group of people that's an audience and you're gonna get on the stage. You're gonna do the same thing that you're gonna do with the networking event. You're gonna go to the host and you're gonna say, hey, the host, I have something that's, that may be valuable for your audience. Do you mind just giving me three minutes to four minutes and 29 seconds of time on your stage? And I'm gonna share about an event that I have coming up. 
many times they'll they could say yes okay uh same thing with webinars so webinars is just another form of stage it just happens to be online so if you're if you are seeing someone promoting their webinar you can just ask the webinar host and say hey can i add value to your audience many times they're going to say ironically i was looking for another speaker you saved my <laughs> butt okay i was looking for another speaker you saved my butt come on in i forget the three minutes to four minutes 29 seconds man i'm gonna give you 15 minutes okay so in that time what you're doing is just sharing about the event that you have coming up okay so that's number one so you so, so far we have direct traffic to the rest, registration page from other audiences okay if there's any questions you feel free to ask in the chat box and while you're typing in the questions from number one, I'm going to move on to number two strategy, because if you remember yesterday on this, yesterday's training, I said, hey, if you just follow just number two, you can add 30 people to your audience in front of you in the next 30 days. So let me show you what number two is. OK, and then we'll go back and I'll answer questions towards the end. Number two is you're going to invite speakers. Put your hand to the webcam. If I invited you to speak on my stage, whether it was in person or on a, on a webinar, you would say, yes, you want to speak. Put your hand to the webcam if you were like, hey, I want to speak on your stage, Andy. Come on, let me have you. I want to speak on your stage. Most of you, at least that's on my screen, is shaking your hand. Joy is excited. Joy, I, I feel the joy through the Zoom call, baby. Okay, I feel you. Eric is like, yeah, me too, man. Steve, I got you, baby. So here's what I would do. Invite speakers and use a system called Speak and Invite. And the one that I'll share with you is that you'll do a five minutes for five attendees with five guest speakers. True story. I've filled up so many events by doing this. So here's what it looks like. Your presentation is going to be about the 90 minute mark. Okay. And for those of you who upgrade, you'll see how it, all the, the whole system works when I give you that, that video. And that video breaks down the whole entire back end. Now, I'm going to go to five people who have a little bit of influence that I might see on social media. And I'm going to say, hey, I'm hosting an event. I'm going to have 30 people at the event. Would you like to speak? They're going to, who's going to say no to that? Steve, would you say no? If I said, come speak at my event? Most people are going to say yes. I'm going to say, hey, there's only one thing. All I ask is that you confirm and bring five people with you. That's it. Steve, can you get five people out of your Facebook? I see you got 1,500 friends on Facebook or 500 or 200. And all the people in your contacts list, I just need you to bring five. Can you bring five people? Give me a thumbs up, Steve. You can bring five people. Yeah, Steve is like, yeah, I'll bring five people. I'm going to do that same thing, that same conversation that I had with Steve. And I'm going to go to Joy. Joy, can you bring five people? Joy's going to be like, yeah, sure. I'm going to say, Anthony, can you bring five people? Anthony's like, yeah. So now I got three speakers who've all committed to bring five attendees each. So that's five plus five plus five. That's 15 people so far, plus the three attendees, plus the three speakers. Then I'm going to do it to another two more people. I'm going to say, Noel, can you bring five people? Noel's going to be like, baby, you can count on me. John's going to be like, hey, John, can you bring five people? I do that with five people, and I, have, and I confirm with them contract, contractually or verbally, at least, a verbal agreement that they're going to bring in five people. Just by doing this, and, and here's the kind of the, the, the spin on it. Not only are they going to bring in an audience, but this person... I would like this person to be on my SaaS as well. I would like this person. I have celebrities on my SaaS using our system. I, exactly what I just shared with you is what I did. So you bring in this group of five speakers. They bring in their audience. Multiply that by five. You got 25 guests or audience members plus your five speakers. That's a total of 30 people listening to your presentation. Throughout the event, you speak for the first hour, hour and a half, and then you give them their five-minute slot towards the end. They're excited because they got to speak, and you spoke, and you shared a demonstration of your system. Here's what happens, or at least what has happened to me, at least. They buy the speakers, <laughs> the, the speakers buy first. <laughs> the speakers I buy first. Know. I already know. The Welcome, speakers to buy the first. Summit. Welcome to the summit where all the keynote speakers were users at one point. Yes. I'm telling you. This then <laughs> your audience, your audience who invited them, hey, Steve's audience, for example, in this scenario, Steve brought in five people. I'm going to go to the five people. Now, they registered on my landing page. I have their phone number, right? So I'm going to go to the five people. I'm going to say, hey, Steve got the system. Are you going to get it? You yeah. know what? I've been thinking about it for the last couple of days. Count me in. 
Yeah, let's let's unpack this for a quick second. So lo, let's think local, and you guys all know I'm a big fan of local when it comes to our SaaSpreneur course and everything. So when you think of local, right, how many real influencers are there? Not that many, maybe one or two power players, right? I'm from Houston, right? If you think about Houston, you think of Mattress Mac, right? This guy owns Houston. I mean, Astro sponsor, Texans guy, he is known as the local hero, right? If I get him to attend anything, I promise you people will join the, the noise, no matter what, right? So think of a couple of players that are in your space. Like if you're in the restaurant space, I promise you there are food bloggers in a certain local area that just simply review local restaurants. Having someone like that, don't you think, on a webinar will attract restaurant owners, right? And I did this with dentistry. I focused on dentists that were coaches and consultants and college professors in the dental schools. Those are the folks that I brought on a podcast, right? And then using that, I would attract the average dentist, the newbie dentist, and create systems. So like what Andy's saying, there's depth to this. Like, And then there is leverage against leverage, right? Like even when we're putting together a massive conference, right? We call one keynote speaker and ask him, hey, we are potentially considering these X, Y, Z public figures who are also keynote speakers. Would you like to come as well? Right. So if you want to attract Tony Robbins, you better show that Grant Cardone and a couple of other people are considering this event as well. So now you're using essentially weight against weight. Right. And in the local sphere, it may be someone who's not well known, but everybody in that local world knows. Like in my neighborhood, for example, there is one handyman that literally owns our group Facebook. Like if anything goes wrong, the handyman is tagged, right? If somebody finds a snake, handyman gets tagged. Hey, what do you think this is, Tim? Right? When the hail, ha when if the hail happens, Tim gets tagged again, right? When the HOA get pissed off, Tim gets tagged again. Tim is like literally the micro influencer, right? So there is a lot of depth to what Andy is saying when it comes to leveraging stage on stage, um, even in a local, local perspective. Even in the scenario of the food bloggers, I would, instead of saying people, five attendees, I would say bring in five restaurant owners, right? And remember, you're already, if you follow the system already, like I've, ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've thought it through for you. If you follow number one, what I just shared with you for number one, which is the the from the od other audiences, you've already connected with people who are hosts of the networking events. You've already connected with people who have other stages. These are already people who have influence. So when I, when you can go back to those people and say, hey, Deborah, thank you so much for giving me the, the a few minutes on your stage. I would love to invite you to speak on my stage. All I ask you is that you just bring five people. Okay. Now, here's what, what I share with you so far. If you follow this, just number two is 30 people. Just number two is 30 people. And how much did you drop on ads? I, how much did you drop? Man, I, I can't I can't do a webinar, Andy. I got to spend all this money on ad spend. I don't have ad spend. I, I got to pay someone to do my Facebook ads manager. Nothing. There was no ad spend. Now you got 30 people on just number two. That doesn't even include the people that you got from number one. Here's what happens after everyone registers. For the people that got a snapshot, I have an opportunity for you inside of that video. But here's what happens after people register. In the automations, when someone registers, thank you for registering, Bob, for my webinar. Hey, I have a couple of tickets left. Would you like to register someone else? Here's the link to register someone else. I'm going to give you two, uh, two buddy passes. So bring invite two people by registering their name, email, and phone number on this, on this webpage. Or give them this link, actually. I think my copy says give them this link. So give them this link here to register and invite them. So that way you're not at this alone. What we what we found is that when people come in packs together to these events, success is inevitable on the back end. So when John registers for my webinar or your webinar, they say, you know what? I gotta tell Tim about this. Thank you for this text message. Thank you for this email. I gotta tell Tim about this. Tim, I'm going to this presentation. This person is talking about how they're gonna automate sales appointments in real estate. What the heck? Or, you know, Tom, I, 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 I got to tell you about this event that I'm going to. It's online. It's free. I don't know what's going to happen, but here's the link. Come check this out. 
Now, what I found is 30 to 40% will actually register. So meaning out of that 30 people, if we do the math, 30 people, and we multiply that on the low end, 30%, that'll get you an additional nine people, an additional nine people. So if you already have 30 people register and you do the, the, the each person gets a, a buddy pass, in just this scenario, just on two and three, you would anticipate, at least let me talk about me because what I've actually done over the last few years, I would anticipate 39 people if I just did two and three. Then that doesn't even include number one. This is how you start climbing towards the 100 mark. And how much did you spend on ads? Nothing. Um, the bonus that I'm going to be giving you, the bonus that I'm going to be giving you is the fourth strategy. Is although there's a portion of this group who aren't going to buy your SaaS, when you have them come the next, when you host your SaaS the next, uh, your webinar the next month, invite the whole 39 people again to the, to the following webinar. So if you chose October X for your webinar and you follow the, the, everything I shared with you yesterday about hosting one webinar per month for the next 12 months, then our next month's webinar in November, everyone who registered for October, just invite them back again. A few questions share- for you, Andy. A few questions for you. Yes. Um, this, let's, let's talk about the speaker. So like, let's say I'm going to do a workshop on basically teaching them how to use high level essentially, right? Maybe two or three features. I mean, you know, it's kind of a tech oriented, at least like a strategy oriented automation workshop at the end of the day. Do the speakers have to align their topics with mine? Like how does, how do the speakers complement what I'm talking about? Or is it the exact same topic? Like, or is there a theme to the whole entire event that you carefully choose certain speakers for certain things? Like, help me understand the curriculum of the day, like the curriculum of the webinar. So remember yesterday, everyone, I'm sharing with you the activity to get the ball started. We can optimize for later. So right now it's about building those relationships and start hosting your event. So if you chose a date, put your date in the chat box real quick. Okay, and I'm going to answer Paulson's question because that is that is important. After you do your second, third, maybe fourth event, that's when you want to start being strategic with the relationships that you have coming to the to the, to, the, to the event. And Paulson, one of the things I learned from you, man, especially when we did the, pop, the 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 spotlight, was like make it so simple that a lot of people can can go ahead and apply, and then we can optimize for later. And so I would say after the third, fourth event, that's when you start having an alliance of speakers who are in alignment. First of all, they got to be SaaS on your SaaS. That's number one, right? If you want to, if you want to come around and mess around with my stage, you're on Progretta first and foremost. Okay. You're on, you're on Progretta. There's no, I'm not having someone on my stage and they're not, they're not on our software. That's first and foremost. Number two is so before them in the future, after your third or fourth one, before them getting on stage, let them know like, Hey, at this event, I'm going to be sharing about my system before I have you come in and speak and, and, and we solidify things, I would like to present it to you to see if it's an, an, an alignment for your business. And then you can have them sign up for your SaaS because they're going to be an influencer. So that way, it's, it's so easy for you to say, Bob, who's a speaker at this event, has our system. Who here wants the same system that I use and that Bob uses and Deborah uses and Tom uses? Put your hands at a webcam. And everyone's like, you know what? Yes, I want that. And that's when they'll sign up. So the answer is yes. Get strategic okay. with people who who their content backs up yours somehow. You don't want to do the technology, marketing technology, and then you have this random insurance broker, right? You want to you want to get someone who's doing maybe business consulting, business coaching, or they're helping small businesses in a specific way that is kind of in alignment with your product. Got it. So so from what you're describing, it sounds like worry about the bigger strategy on the 2.0 version like don't worry about that for the launch itself the first one just get people there bring the environment together and your focus is do we do an event check off that's the only kpi do we do an event and the second one is where you start aligning okay you know what let me bring in some influencers or micro influencers or speakers that are aligned with their SaaS. and then at that point it just naturally becomes like complimentary. Like, well, yeah, my automations are set up through X, Y, Z and everybody knows what it is. And I've told, I just did it last, last week. I let everyone know we had a hundred something people there, 130, whatever the number was. And I said, everyone, guys, who here got a text message from me? And everyone was like, I got a text. I said, who here got an email from me? 
And then everyone was like, I got an email. And I said, I used my system to get you all here. Would you like to use that same system in your business? Oh, shoot. Andy, I'm going to sign me up right now. That makes a lot of sense because they went through it as a user, right? They went through it as a user and they were like, okay, I can see how my customer is going to use it. Yeah. So throughout your presentation, you're, you're giving a different, um, different examples of who's using your SaaS, how they're using it, uh, how you're using it. And remember, keep it simple. Keep, keep it very simple. I don't think I even talk about sites on my, yeah. on my deal. I just talk about the conversations and automations and yeah, keep, keep it simple. Okay. So, so another thing I want to add on here um, that, that I observe when it comes to these systems, right, that are going through education oriented top of the funnel is how I think about it. So either courses, webinars that have some kind of education behind it, your onboarding becomes a lot easier because they already went through chapter one. It's not a brand new revelation to them in the onboarding that automations have power, that funnels have power, that calendar systems have power. So this education that you provide makes life easier for you tomorrow. And then another thing is for all of you that are even advanced and have a big sales team behind you, your closers, right? They will be able to close these deals on a follow-up cadence a lot easier because they're already familiar with the offer in the system. They don't need to over-evangelize before they become an active buyer. That's really what happens. So this is like appointment setting on steroids if you're thinking of it from a sales lens. Um, Andy, what are some other things that you wanted to share? I think there was a fourth item. Um, Andrea, like, Andrea, well, the fourth thing that I, that I share with you is that you're going to have the, um, and when you get the snapshot, everyone, you'll see how you can set it up and have your webinars on repeat. However, there's uh, the fourth thing that I shared was that you're going to bring bringing, bringing back the people. Yeah. Bringing back the people. I'll share with you in my SaaS, I look in Stripe and I'll see who the top spenders are. And mm -hmm. there was this one part, like I look at the highest spender in my SaaS. They're on the highest plan. Their, their text message and email rebilling is like crazy bonkers of how much they're doing. And this person's in life insurance. And I looked at this person's journey, right? You can, in the software, you can go back and see how far they came in and when they purchased. I looked at this person's journey and I realized they registered for four of my webinars. And when I went to that person, I said, hey, sir, uh, why did you take you four, four presentations to, to purchase? I, I presented the same thing. And this is gonna, this is gonna I'm gonna answer Andrea's question. And Andrea's question was, same exact topic every month, or do you switch it? I do the same presentation every single month, okay? Same presentation. And I said to, to, the, to the man, I said, why did you take you four presentations to, to actually purchase? Mind you, he's my biggest spender. He's been on our SaaS for two years now. Why did it take you four presentations? He goes, I never buy on the first one. I never buy on the first one. I made a rule and a pact, even though it was so good, I made a rule and a pact to never buy on, my fir on the first one. That's number. That's the first reason. The second reason was his company gave him a CRM, and every time he would come back to the presentation, I would, uh, what I was sharing, his company CRM couldn't do. And so the first time he heard it, he's like, "Let me think about that," and then he'll go back to his CRM, and he realized like, "Okay, it doesn't do what Andy said." Then he gets a notification. Andy has a webinar in, in two weeks. Register now, and then they'll come back, and he'll realize it doesn't do what he does. His CRM doesn't do what mine does. Yeah. So it took him four months to switch over, but he's been my biggest spender since then. So what I'm sharing with you is, all if you follow what I share with you in, a, in, in that scenario, I, I, brought, I broke down how to get 39 people on your first one. Then you're just going to invite them to the second one. And it's going to start rolling. And after the end of the year, you're going to say, wow, I've had you know, X amount of groups of people sign up for my, my webinar. Now your appointment setters, you can call them, you can email them to do whatever, to follow up with them and so forth. Tomorrow, I'm going to be breaking down what we call the post-webinar interview is even if they don't buy, how they're going to help you <laughs> generate more traffic. I've done over 6,000 people last year on this system without having to spend a bunch of money on ads. So everything I'm sharing with you works no matter if you're talking about three people or 300 people or 3,000 people, okay? That's insane. And no wonder you, you're you know, won the Saspreneur Gold Award before we know it, and you're on you're on stage, like, because you're, you're at bats or at volume, right? You're not doing one-on-one -on -one sales calls like a lot of people are. 
Um, and it's interesting. Andy, quick couple of questions before we do. Anything else you want to share for day two content that we need to talk about? Look, let me, let me share this with you. If you're looking at this and you're looking at this and you're like, okay, I got a bunch of notes. This <laughs> dude is telling me to go to BNI meetings. This dude's telling me to go to uh, to go to the Chamber of Commerce. Plus, I got my work. Plus, I got my kids. And then I'm supposed to have a buddy pass system. And then I'm supposed to have ten high and five speakers. Invite them all. One step at a time. Joy, I see you, Joy. One step at a time. You're gonna ramp up, okay? Over time, you're gonna ramp up over time. That's why I share with you this system that I, I'm coaching on right now. You're going to host one event for the next year. I start last year uh, on December of 2022. I scheduled my webinars for the whole year. I was committed from the jump. So just commit one event once a month, 190 minute session, once a month. That is it. Yeah. You, and, you, reminded, you reminded something like deep down inside me. So 2014, when I was first starting my dental agency, I, I launched a webinar for the first time ever, and <laughs> it was the most frightening thing. And I don't know what it is. When you do stuff online, it just it just some it does something to you mentally. Like uh, like I I was I was like, man, my cousins are gonna watch this, make fun of me later. Uh, my boys are gonna see this, and they're gonna be like, man. Like, I'm like, I'm worried about memes coming out of my friends group more than building a business, right? It, but it was like weird. But anyways. I remember telling myself, Paulson, you put together a wedding less than two years ago with your wife and got like a few hundred family members together and spent a lot of money. Like, you know, those Indian weddings, they're like pretty extravagant. So like, and I did a small version of that. I'm like, if I can, my wife and I can put together a wedding, I can put together a webinar for 10 people. That's literally what I kept telling myself. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And now I'm comfortable with, with the camera. I'm comfortable doing a live. I'm comfortable doing events and coordinating. But I tell you, there was a Paulson that was absolutely afraid of social media. I did not like any of it. But it's one of the most like freeing things you can do once you start building content. Um, Andy, if it's okay with you, I know a lot of people asked a lot about the offer that we had for the workshop. Should I, yeah. should I go ahead and share that with everybody? Let's share that because that is, and while he's sharing his screen, I'm going to share with you why you want to take advantage of it. That when I upgraded in the first place and I got in the community, I went to the conference, I went to the events and I upgraded and I, and I went to the events, all of that experience on the back end, as I look retroactively was free. Why? Because I gained some specific knowledge that allowed me to level up, which is why I believe it's called a level up summit. So yes, Boston, <laughs> I would love to hear the, uh, the offer that we have. Yeah. So the offer is really simple. Okay. Upgrade to the 497 SAS plan we have, because if you're serious about SAS, you want to go into the 497 plan because that helps you automate your entire subscriptions at scale, your automations, like literally everything SaaS oriented, SaaS rebuilding, like literally everything that you can think of when it comes to SaaS is in the SaaS plan. If you upgrade to the 497 plan, you get high levels, very own SaaS launch course that Chase Buckner put together that is going to help you launch into the local market, local market. That course is usually worth about $2,000. And that's the same course that we teach in the mastermind. And I promise you mastermind tickets are like $1,000 plus. Okay. The, then in addition to that, you get the high, you get the high levels, very own five day SAS launch challenge, which I just launched literally a month ago. Not that many people even know about it, but we had 3000 people, 3000 agencies go through that challenge and almost more than 50, 60% of participants of the challenge got their first customer, okay? So the, the challenge itself is designed to help you get your first customer. Zero to one is for the challenge. If you're already at one or two and you're trying to get to 50, that's the local hero playbook and it comes with the mastermind stuff. Then in addition to that, Andy Auday was so generous enough to have his team put together a similar snapshot of what he already has, and he charges almost $35,000. And what you have is basically a framework 
that you can build on top of, okay? And Andy's webinar, webinar snapshot is included, all totaling close to $5,000, okay? But we're giving this all away for free, all for free, if you just simply upgrade to the 497 plan. And in order for you to do that, go to gohighlevel.com slash upgrade now. And this is specifically for this workshop. As soon as this workshop is done, this offer is going to be gone. We, I don't want to lose money, honestly, and create a ton of problems internally of even providing this offer. The team was like very resistant of me even doing a promotional offer. If you know high level people, like we're not salesy, like even doing this is hard for me, just FYI. But go to gohighlevel.com slash upgrade now, jump into our 497 plan. We have two big courses that you that, that it comes with, as well as Andy Snapshot. Um, thousands of dollars worth of uh, value that you get um, as soon as you upgrade. And yesterday, by the way, we had a ton of people upgrade, just FYI. So take advantage of it. Um, this is something Andy has gone through personally um, and came and attended our masterminds, went through these courses, and that's you know really how he made his migration from that traditional agency to where he's at. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, and I want to I want to share like this 497 plan. You're going to need it ultimately, and here's why. If you follow the webinar, like if you go back to day one, day two, and then you join us for day three, and this is going to be on YouTube, so that way you can get the strategy again and break it down step by step for you. When you implement the webinar snapshot and you have people register, even if it's eight people register, even if it's four people register, and they start coming, and then they buy your SaaS. If you're on anything less than the 497 plan, you don't have the agency API to automatically create your SaaS plan and automatically create your accounts. Did you know with the 497 plan, you can set it up when you create a landing page for people to buy your SaaS and when they purchase, their sub account is automatically created. So that way you're focusing on sales. You're focusing on meeting with your clients. You're focusing on presenting rather than logging in creating a sub-account, connecting Stripe, doing all this extra auction stuff that wastes time. That extra, if you're on the 297 plan and you go to the 497 plan, that extra 200 bucks a month is worth, like your time is much more valuable than that extra 200 bucks. Focus yeah. on presenting in, in, in front of a large group. And I'm an advocate of this. I remember when I talked to Paulson, I remember being on a call with Paulson and, I, and one of my first clients was a, like a large high ticket uh, done for you service. And Paulson was like, congratulations, like you got this high ticket service. And I was like, yes, man, I got this high ticket service. And then that framework that I, that mindset that I was in was this onesie, twosie mentality. I'll get one client at high ticket, two clients at high ticket, four clients at high ticket. What I like to do is I want to get on a webinar and get 10 customers at, at, uh, for my SaaS. And when they sign up, their sub accounts automatically created, a welcome email is automatically sent. They're already able to log in. And I don't have to focus on doing the, all the legwork. The extra two hundred dollars between the two ninety seven plan and the four ninety seven plan is completely worth it. Even if you're on the ninety seven plan, the extra four hundred dollars is completely worth it. If you're going to follow the system, generate leads to your webinar, and focus on presenting. If you want to go from zero to one, uh, zero to ten, follow this system. Everything's laid out for you. The high level, the the SaaS launch course. Now I know Paulson. Like I'm an advocate for Paulson. I'm an advocate for the team. Why? Because true story. When I started, when I started in a high level, I was a marketing agency operator. I was a marketing agency operator and I was doing all of this work. It was a lot of work. And then when I really adopted this SaaS lifestyle, this SaaS preneur, you're telling me I can fly to Hawaii with my wife for the first time. I can go to Hawaii and we're on the beach and I look at my Stripe account and X dollars are coming in from rebilling. X dollars are coming in from a deal, a, a webinar that I did six months ago because they're paying monthly and I don't have to do anything for that. The software is already done. The software is already built. The backend technology is already managed. This is a dream come true. I'm telling my friends, and that's why I got into coaching and, and, and doing these trainings because ladies and gentlemen, this is the opportunity of a lifetime right now. You're so early with high level. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. I, I wake up in the morning and I say, thank God for high level. 
<laughs> you know what's crazy? Like, like if you look at Active Campaign, they're at like two hundred thousand users. You look at a company like ClickFunnels, they're at like ninety five thousand. You look at a company like HubSpot, I think they're like one hundred and fifty thousand. We just got to like thirty thousand. And out of the 30,000, you're looking at less than 5,000 SaaSpreneurs. So the opportunity is insane. It's in the very early stages. Eventually, I promise you, in the next three, four years, this market of SaaS is going to get more saturated than what it is ever. Like, And a lot of people, what they do is they mix and match, right? They'll take their SaaS offer and they combine it with marketing. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. What do the prospects think that they're getting? They think they're getting marketing. So they don't even recognize the SaaS offer, right? So like, honestly, I, I really think it's something that you can build generational wealth on. We've had at least eight or nine SaaSpreneurs that, had, that are in the process or had five or six million dollar exits on a white label high level where other companies are coming and buying their white label version of high level. How do I know? They reach out to us to understand the parent company. Mm -hmm. They don't care. What are they, what are they buying? They're buying the book of business. They're buying a new market in a certain industry because you've already captured it for them, right? In the IT industry, this already happened. This wave of SaaS preneurs already happened. This is not new because in the IT world, if you remember, like, you have those Windows like CDs. You had to call a cousin or an expert to come install those things for five hours, right? So what happened? Those professionals started selling software solutions. They were the first round of local market SaaSpreneurs. And in the marketing world, it hasn't been done. Now that High Level is doing the whole SaaS thing, this is the first opportunity for you to jump into it. Um, so without any further ado, Andy, any final words you want to share for day two content before we start q and I know we extended time a little bit. We'll, we'll extend time for Q&A here, but I just want to just let you just at least have some final words here. Yeah, what you just said, um, I, I, didn't, I couldn't believe that this idea of, of building a company that is sellable on a white label actually got my business valued, my SaaS valued. This business broker happens to actually... He owns a multi-million dollar enterprise. He owns 32 companies and he's also a business broker. And through the valuation process, he already, I found out he uses high level for his business. And I said, hey, I went all in on SaaS. Here's my numbers. I opened up my QuickBooks. Here's my numbers. This is what my business does. And this is our sales process. And he, we broke it all down. I got a valuation at $1.9 million with my SaaS so far. That's crazy. And at this point, I said, dude, I'm going for 10 million ARR, man. What's possible? He gave me a number that I couldn't, like if I just hit the 10 million ARR. So what I'm doing now is I'm supporting other people. I'm supporting other people to build their SaaS because I'm a believer in this. I'm, I'm, I'm bought in. It took me a little bit, bit of time, false and truth be told, but I'm all in on this and what we're up to and what we're creating here. This is why I'm such an advocate. You see me with so much energy where I'm like, upgrading. The reason why I'm saying to upgrade because I've gone through this process. I've gone to the events. I've gotten the coaching from Paulson. I've, I went from done for you marketing agency to do it yourself, SaaSpreneur, where, hey, customer, you do it yourself and you pay to get it done for you to do it yourself. And customers, if they get presented that offer from the beginning and they buy, they already know that they're doing it themselves. So it makes it so much easier when you get the blueprint. That's This is everything that you're going to need. The first thing is a SaaS launch course. Go to zero to one and be a local hero. Number two is how to really scale your SaaS. And then I give you the tool in this webinar snapshot. I'm a proponent of this. I don't get paid from you upgrading, but what I do get is the realization that you can take care of your family on a whole new level. You can build the relationships with your family on a whole new level. You can make recurring income and you can give so much value to your customer base on a whole new level. That's why I'm a believer in this. So let's do this. Let's let's do q and A. I've got I, I've got some smart ones that already raised their hands, and <laughs> we're at one eighteen. So let's try to go to like one thirty five. And if we could just limit to one question, I definitely appreciate it. And if you're gonna ask a question, I definitely appreciate it. If you're on camera, so our recordings can see you. Uh, but let me go with Joy. Joy, I I love seeing Joy because she's a 
she's in the wow. final challenge and she's she's a, she's a student that's in the front of the seats you know <laughs> hey joy good seeing you again thank you paulson i have one question a simple one for you okay um yesterday when they were giving us all the information when, from the upgrade yeah they couldn't figure out what the five-day SAS challenge was okay they have no idea where that was at how do we get a hold of that i so this this question came up internally for us in our slack channel so i created an internal faq document yesterday right after the webinar with all the links on it so if you go back to the success room or support room they have like a huge document of all the links um Andy even made like a Loom tutorial that I had him do to explain the snapshot. Um, so you get the Sasprenura course, the five day challenge course, as well as Andy's snapshot when you upgrade. All they would do is just look up your billing and make sure that you upgraded during uh, the workshop. And um, that that's pretty much what it is. But I, I gave it to them right after the workshop. So if you had joined, one of the success rooms right after more than likely they were like wait what are they talking about what challenge so that was, but now, that was what we now got. they're now they're equipped so i appreciate that thank you okay thank you joy let's go with andreas let's see or andres but yes. sorry what's your, your name yeah no I, actually that's my name and it's funny because i go by andy um okay <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well first thank you guys for you know i mean we're in day two and the amount of content has been fantastic so Thank you awesome. to the both of you. Um, I do, you know, I do have a question. If let's say I'm 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 starting my software business this week, essentially. So okay. it was after recently getting uh, laid off from my previous job. Okay. So we can just tackle it down. I know you guys mentioned, you know, putting down two features, but what would be the, I guess, the number one strategy you would tackle if you were starting from zero today? Yeah, I would say jump into the five day challenge where I and Chase, we we teach how to do this with one feature, which is the missed call text back. So take a look at that. Outside of that, follow Andy's guidelines of the two, three features that he does. Uh, maybe catch it on the replay if you can. But the key is to not overwhelm the crowd. Right. And then teach like and think of it as an educational system. Right. Um, and then certain industries, like let's say you focus in on real estate or something or restaurants, they may have certain features that matter more to them, right? Like uh, calendar system is a big deal for home services, right? Because they're like, I got to get to scheduled calendars. Like that's a big deal versus another type of industry might be invoicing. Like accountants, they care about how invoicing works probably because they're money people. Right. So you need to look at a couple of different things, but jump into the five day challenge. You can learn how to leverage the missed call text back or go back and watch Andy's recommendation. Video. Where can I find the five day challenge uh, to, to sign up? So if you go, go halibut.com slash five day challenge, um, five hyphen day hyphen challenge, you can sign up. Or when you upgrade, it's part of the core stack that you get. Um, but I recommend you upgrading because you get. The Saspreneur course, as well as the five day challenge, as well as Andy Snapshot. Well, when I signed up, I signed up with the 497 right off the okay. bat. So, okay. So then all you have to do is go to the success room and have them turn those programs on for you because you've okay. already created. Yeah. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Perfect. Appreciate Let's you. go with Marcus. Hey, Marcus Thomas, how are you? It's a great class. How about yourself? <laughs> Doing well. Good. Um, so I'm going to kind of combine two questions together if I could. Um, what, what is an alternative? We kind of touched on this, I guess, in the five day challenge, but I'm out of the country. So what is it? My audience is USA, but what is an alternative for BNI's and, um, uh, shoot, chamber of commerce. Chamber type of commerce. Thing? Yeah. Andy, what are your thoughts on, you know, somebody not being able to go sh shake hands? Yeah. So I, I mean, it's the same, it's the same process. We just do it online. So I'll go to find somebody who's hosting a webinar already. And ask if I can give him give a get a few minutes. Where do you go? Uh, he just disappeared on my screen. But uh, uh, he's, he's there for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I would ask if you're already hosting an event. I would say, hey, can I get a few minutes to 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 share, uh, and then get people to my landing page? 
uh, as well as the Facebook lives, you'll still do that every single day. And then I would just find five people. I mean, I would find five people who are uh, somewhat in alignment with the topic of your event and ask them to speak and then have them go to work for you and, and bring in five people. They're getting okay. their spot. And plus, look, the call, your Zoom call, why don't you record it and give it to that person as content that they can use. So a speaker is going to, I'll go to a speaker and I say, hey, I'll record it. That'll be your content that you can use. You bring in five people, give value, extra value to your current audience. And that could be done on Facebook Messenger and have a conversation with somebody. So you don't yeah. have to be a person. Andy, okay. I have a follow-up question for you uh, in the context of this. So, like, let's say I leverage speakers. Like, are you break? Are you like turning them into affiliates for your SaaS? Like, is there a financial incentive for them, or maybe a promise bigger spotlight or a secondary event or anything? Or is there? What do the speakers get out of doing this? The content for for coming and value for the content. A speaking opportunity in front of people that they don't that, that it's not their audience. So even though they brought in five, there's still an additional 20 something five people that's not their audience. So it's valuable for them as well. And then so content, additional speaker, and the answer is no, they don't ha- they can be an affiliate, but I would you don't even have to start start that, you know, you create an affiliate program out of your speakers just yet. Okay. And cool. Can I just a time question as well? You yeah. said the lives um for the content. Do you normally do pretty much the same thing, promoting the 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 uh, webinars each and every day, and you kind of change it up, or what do you use for that? Yeah, I'm a promotion machine, man. I'm I'm, I'm sharing I'm sharing the 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 webinar every day, but but I, I'm sharing value to to get people to start thinking about what is what technologies are already available. You'll be surprised. There's businesses that are 25 years in business and they don't have a CRM. They've heard this before, right? They've seen ads from HubSpot. They've seen ads from this company and that company. But they've, this is a new opportunity. This is the, a different perspective, a different version, a different presenter. So you're sharing things that people should already know. Like, hey, do you have your leads all in one place? Do you have your contacts in one place? I just onboarded a customer. Uh, or, or we just onboarded a customer in my, in my SaaS. The company's making 85 grand a month, and they're using spreadsheets for their customers. And they're like, oh, we've been doing it for so long, you know, and then we, we, we switch them over. So share stuff that you already know leading up to the event. So, for example, hey, everyone, I want you to know this. This could be a Facebook Live. I want you to know this. Uh, you should have your leads all in one place. If someone texts you, it goes in one bucket. If someone emails you, it goes in one bucket. If someone um, uh, messages you on Facebook, it goes in one bucket. On the presentation that I'm going to be sharing with you in, in, a, in a few days coming up, I'm going to be breaking down the technology and how you can imp- implement this in your business where you can have all your people in one bucket. I look forward to seeing you at Marcus Thomas's event. So I hope that was valuable, Marcus. Yep. Appreciate you, bro. All right. Uh, great, great set of questions. And like, just like how we're doing this Q&A, you can do Q&As that turn into content pieces, even in your event. Like... Like the, the questions that we get from an event here, like right now at high level, my, our marketing team takes a look at the Q&A questions and they're like, ah, we can create a blog around this. We can create an email thread around this. There is there is systems. There's about, there's like 40 people internally that look at a workshop that I'm doing and figuring out how to re-leverage what we're doing in a, in a crazy way. And you can do the same thing. Right. You can now you can go to like Fiverr.com and get like an AI guy to shoot out like a ton of content. Apparently, it's not that it's not that hard. Right. Um, Let's go with Joy. Joy Gwendo. Hey, Joy, how's it going? Hey, how are you doing? Well, I'm sorry, I don't have video and it's okay. Thank you, Andy. In another life, you'd be a pastor. I mean, and I would get saved. (laughs) (laughs) I, I think you might be right. <laughs> so my question is, so Andy, how much do you charge for your package? And whatever you charge, do you just sell to them the conversation tab and the missed call text back? And then later you add on whatever else uh, your SaaS offers or what, do, what exactly do you sell in your package? Just those two? Great question. So. Yes. There's a spotlight session that I did with Paulson uh, a, f- a, few, a few months ago. Okay. And in that spotlight session, I broke down on my webinars 
I used to sell it for 197 bucks per month. And then we would add on additional things, which would okay. increase the MRR. Okay. Today, I just sell the whole entire software unlocked for 750 bucks a month. So you can do one of the two. You can follow what I share. If you watch that uh, spotlight interview with Paulson, okay. you could follow what I share there. I break down back then. It was just a conversations tab. I think sites and automation. I think it was just those three features and um, opportunities board wasn't even there. Like there was a bunch of stuff that wasn't there. Right. And it was just those three. And we got a bunch of people just paying 197 a month. And then we would have to upgrade them today. I just go straight for the 749 bucks and just say, Hey, do you want to sign up or yes or no? So you can bo do both. Okay. Um, there's no suggestion for you. I would just say whatever you feel comfortable with, get mm -hmm. the ball rolling. Like okay. I shared, we'll optimize later. Okay. So in the, I'm sorry to ask another question. In the 749, you give the conversation tab, you give more things, you give like, what, what do you give if you don't mind me asking? So in the SaaS configurator, you can choose all of the features that's available, but you got to be on the 49, 497 plan oh, to be okay. the SaaS okay. configurator. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's the a big 490. <laughs> The 497 is for people who want to do SaaS and and oh. and to go SaaS mode. So a lot of the things I'm going to be sharing with that I share with you, especially in the in in the system that I that in the snapshot, you got to be on the 497 plan. You got to be on the SaaS configurator. You got to have because that's where you get to choose and what you want to give and what you don't want to give and things of that nature. So I hope that answers yeah, that question. Sense. Yes, Grab thank me. you so much. Yeah, let's go with the next question, Caesar. Yeah. What's what's crazy is Andy was very resistant when we first told him hey don't charge only 197. he was like i don't know i'm gonna go with the volume first paul then i'll let you know how it goes then like six months later he was coming back like man i should have charged two thousand dollars for this yeah yeah <laughs> but caesar uh caesar kalina how's it going where are you checking in from caesar in our 10 million dollar plan for our SaaS, getting to 10 million dollars arr with a 10x multiple that's a hundred million dollar exit however in our plan, we are in our roadmap, we're going to 1997 a month just for the software. So like if you're selling your software at 97 bucks, do that, get the rhythm going. I'm holding a paintbrush in my hand. Do that, get the rhythm going of selling and then you can optimize later, increase price points later. But the way that to do that is to be part of the community, get coaching. I've gotten coaching from Paulson. I've gotten coaching from, from Chase. I've gotten co coaching from Sean. Get active in the community while it's currently this size. So if you, if you didn't upgrade, you got to upgrade because I know the content that's going to be in those trainings because I took it. I took it. Okay. Caesar, uh, where are you checking in from? Thank you, Paulson and, and Andy from Montreal. I'm from Montreal. Oh, nice. uh, yeah. So I'm high level since three months ago. So okay. I have like five, let's say, customer or since accounts in, okay. internally, basically family or people around me. Um, and all in with SaaS. No, I like the idea. I, I tried to build something like that years ago by myself. I own the computer. So, but I love the idea. This is what, as Andy said, it's a dream come true. Now, I have a concern when going to the market and only, I imagine people only reselling or selling SaaS. So, what Andy is selling right now for 750, then, then, I'm going to sell by seven, 700 and other people will sell, sell by 500. So I know the idea is to add value, not only sell the SaaS, no? So I'm not sure the approach, and Andy, I'm not sure if you sell only the SaaS platform and people have access to that, or additionally, you are providing other type of value over there to avoid, I don't know, to keep you differently, because it's all is we all are selling or only reselling a uh, high level. Okay, what's the value of you versus me versus the other? That that's my concern. Let me share something with you, my friend. Okay. I had a conversation with Paulson, and I remember it to a T. This was uh, I think a, they call it town hall calls, right? Or something of that nature. And I sold services where I would do a service for someone. My mindset at the time was another go high level, someone else selling go high level is a competitor, true story. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. That was my mindset at the time. My also mindset was, if this person is selling it for, for uh, 397, I'm gonna sell mine for 297. And what I found over the years is that that mindset was a race to zero. 
Come mm-hmm. you, yeah. you, you're going to fight to to get 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 to free at that point, right? So yeah. That's when you, yeah. That's when you see these lifetime deals that never work. Those people end up <laughs> going out of business. Why? Because I tried it. Yeah. Okay. Those yeah. people, it, it just never works. You don't have enough money to sustainably manage your customers. You can't manage staff. The whole nine yards. It's a bad look. What I found was the reality is Caesar. If you become successful, I become successful in my SaaS. If Jim becomes successful in his SaaS, I become successful because they're, your customers are seeing the product so many times in so many different places. They already know what to expect when they get the software. Now, the value that's presented is different for everyone. So let me just share with you this scenario, Caesar. If I'm talking to a business owner and this business owner is doing DMs for Instagram, having direct messages on Instagram, Direct mm-hmm. messages on Facebook, direct messages on email, sending people text messages and doing phone calls. If I share with them, what's your biggest pain point? They're going to tell me I'm always on my phone and I'm going to say, OK, what are you on your phone doing? And they're going to say, man, I'm always telling people, here's my Calendly link and here's this link and here's that link. I would say if that could be automated, let's just say just your calendar link. How much time would you save in a month? Just sending out people in my calendar link and, and, and going back and forth with them to schedule, man, dude, you could probably save me if I do the math one hour a day times 20 working days. That's 20 hours in a month. I would say, sir, let me ask you, 20 hours in a month, 749 divided by 20, that's 38 bucks per hour. I, I charge my SaaS for 749. Is your hour of your life worth more than $37.45? They're going to say yes. And I would say, great. Get my SaaS on just the principle of mm-hmm. just the conversations tab and automation. Yeah. So this, the value is, that I yeah, sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. The value that I present is on saving them time, energy, and money, not competing. We're not competing. The reason I started doing this coaching, I started a coaching program for SaaSpreneurs. The reason I, I'm I'm on here is because what I realized, Caesar, I want you to be a billion a million dollar SaaS. I yeah. want to see you win, buddy. And, and the way to do it. I promise you, I went through the headaches. I've had the, a ton of conversation with Paulson and the, co- and the team. I chose not to do the services. I teach do-it-yourself, okay. which is duplicatable. Okay, so I hope that yeah. helps. Yeah, yeah. And, thanks and, a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this problem, this question that you presented, Caesar, it's more of a it's more of a question around the mindset of price and mindset of sales, right? Mm-hmm. And there's not, there's no strategic advantage to be in the middle of the price. Either go one dollar or go millions of dollars. Like that's the real business, right? There's no good in being in the middle of the pack. Either be the top of the pack or below the pack. Undercut everybody or be the the white glove top yeah. end, right? So. How can you be that white glove person? Honestly, you already are because you are locally in an area that local people want to simply connect with the local person. Like like a local person does not want to go with the large enterprise on a 1-800 number with their headquarters in Paris, France. They want to be able to shake hands. And that's why I teach in the Sasspreneur course as well as the five-day challenge go local you avoid a lot of these problems around price when you go local uh but anyways great question uh let's thank see you. we're at we're, yeah go ahead thank you thank you thank you everyone. For sure for sure right. let, let me go ahead and ask the rest of the folks unfortunately if you can post a question in the facebook community i definitely appreciate it um we're going well over time uh once again i just want to share this offer with you the, the offer is really simple y'all Jump into the 497 plan if you don't have it. You get both courses for free as well as any snapshot. If you if you already have the 497 plan, you get these things for free anyway. Just jump into our success room or support room. Somebody on our team will send you access to it. Tomorrow, Andy, what are we going to talk about? Tomorrow is the last day. Uh, (laughs) Workshop went by so fast. Yeah. uh, So the tomorrow we're going to talk about what happens after the webinar. So day one was that build that why webinars and the build out of your funnel and the automations, which you get as a snapshot. We sell it for 35 grand. You're going to get that as a snapshot as part of the offer when you upgrade. And then today was about how to drive traffic. 
there's a total of six bullet points. One, two, three. There's a total of six bullet points. Uh, follow them. Yep. Now, you don't have to do it all in once. Take it by steps. Take it by steps. Take it by steps. And then tomorrow is now at this point, if you follow everything I share with you, you would have already scheduled your webinar date. You would have uh, uh, set up your system, your snapshots. I, I'm already see, seeing uh, direct messages where people already said that they got their snapshot when they upgraded yesterday and they're already implementing this. So kudos to you. It takes you 30 minutes to, to implement the snapshot. We've made it so, so, so we, we made it so simple for you to set up. Now, so, so far you should have scheduled your date, install your snapshot. If you don't, if you didn't get it yesterday, be sure to get it today, install your snapshot. It comes then, with the instructional videos as well. So it's not just the link. You'll get videos when you ask uh, our team. And if you already upgraded, we'll send that over to you on email too. Yes. So it comes with the instructional video. And then uh, you have the blueprint to start driving traffic. So if you followed everything today, if you followed everything, you should already be starting to drive traffic to your webinar for the event that you have coming up in four weeks. I would love to find out tomorrow how many of you already got registrations for your webinar because it's so simple to set up. I would love to see how many of you uh, have already registrations for your webinar following today's principles. And then tomorrow, what you're going to see and learn is what we call the post webinar interview, that process that happens after the webinar. Believe it or not, most of my sales comes after the webinar. So it's not just on the webinar, there's majority on the back end. So I'll be breaking down that system for you tomorrow of how to get sales, increase sales, and increase show-ups. If you want to see how I created this avalanche, avalanche of starting from, I think my first webinar I had 12 people. But everything I share with you today is what helped me get more. I went from 12 to 20 to 30 to 50 to 60 to 80. Last year, we did over 6,000 people. I'll be sharing that with you tomorrow on how to create content from the post webinar process, how to increase sales and how to make the, get the most bang for your, for your buck. I'll see you tomorrow.